seated comfortably, with spine upright, shoulders tucked back, back of the head in line with the spine. Come into a namaste, where the palms entire length meet from the wrists to the fingertips. Anjali Mudra. brings hormonal health. Anjali Mudra improves our focus. It is very useful in a meditative state. It calms our mind. Relieves the stress and anxiety. Connects our brain's right and left hemisphere. What is important about Anjali Mudra is that it increases respect not only of anyone who we do it for or to, but it improves respect of one's own self. As we stay in Anjali Mudra, we do Ujjayi inhalations and Kapalbhati exhalations. We increase them in ascending order. Inhale in Ujjayi, the throat breath. Exhale in Kapalbhati. Inhale in Ujjayi, the throat breath twice. Exhale in Kapal Bhati. <laughs> Inhale in Ujjayi throat breath thrice, which means you're going beyond the threshold of inhalations. And do Kapal Bhati thrice. Repeat this one more time. Inhale in Ujjayi once. Exhale in Kapalbhati once. Inhale in Ujjayi twice. So you're already full with one inhale and you're inhaling more the second time. Exhale in Kapalbhati twice. Thrice now. Now come into peak state. One Kapal Bhati, one Pastrika. <laughs> In Anjali Mudra. Faster, faster, faster. Still faster, faster, faster. Faster, faster. Make sure every alternate breath is very abdomen-centric and lung-centric. Abdomen-centric because you're doing Kapalbhati, lung-centric because you're doing Bhastrika. Peak state, the summit, the topmost, the best, peak state.
We want to come out of confusion or feeling like crying. We want to come into come out of depression, of apathy. We want to come out of inability to learn. We want clarity of thought. We want inner wisdom. We want an enhanced intuition. We want a proper self-expression. We want to reverse skin diseases, allergies, vertigo, sore throat, mucus in the throat. We want to be painless mind and body. Male or female, we want to be painless. We want to manifest an amazing immune system. We want to be compassionate. We want to remove the sense of victimization. We want to reverse poor digestion. We want energy. We want spontaneity. We want effectiveness. We want to have a non-dominating nature. We want to reverse malfunctions of the uterus, of the bladder, of the kidneys, of sexual disorders. knee troubles, pain, weight disorders, spinal problems. And these are not only motivational words I'm using. We are doing a phenomenal mudra called Anjali Mudra and we are doing alternate cleanser, Kapalbhati and a Pranayam of peak state and energizing and vitalizing pranayam called Bhastrika. Get ready to discontinue this. Continue staying in a namaste. Discontinue alternate Kapalbhati Bhastrika technique. Stay in Anjali Mudra. And immediately start with abdominal breaths. Inhale, inflate the abdomen like a balloon. Exhale, bring it back to normal. In this, add in inhalations, pushing the pelvic platform down towards your yoga mat and in exhalations, mool band, the middle lock at the perineum. So every inhalation pushes the pelvic platform down and every exhalation brings it back. Back in. Continue abdominal breaths with mool buns in the exhalation. Add to this Ujjayi inhalations and Ujjayi exhalations. So you're doing abdominal breathing in Ujjayi. Very powerful. Last round. Discontinue abdominal breathing in Ujjayi with Mool Buns. Open up the Anjali Mudra. Come into a twist now. And turn your head again over the chin, over the shoulder blade.
Here we are going to do 11 Kapal Bhatis and one Viloma Pranayam. It will be guided. In Kapal Bhati, we exhale 11 times Kapal Bhati, pulling the abdomen in on exhalations. One Viloma Pranayam, inhale fully in Ujjayi. Exhale one third, one third, one third. Continue. Eleven Kapal Bhatis, one Viloma Pranaya. Hormones play a very vital role in regulating a lot of bodily functions, especially in women. There are about a hundred hormones and any hormonal imbalance is going to effect, is going to tell on the systems, on the organs, on health issues. Hormonal imbalance affects our well-being. Continue 11 Kapal Bhati followed by one Viloma Pranayam on the other side now. Let this breath work help us combat any problems related with hormonal imbalance and bring back hormonal health in women. Hormonal imbalance happens when there are too many or too few hormones in our bloodstream, disrupting our body's entire balance. It never happens suddenly. It builds over a period of time. If we've not been in regular breathwork practices, if we've not been in gratitude, if our eating habits are erratic, if we are complainers, we get into low feelings, depressiveness, and that's when the hormones show a huge imbalance. That's why they say there is postpartum hormonal imbalance. That is, after delivery, one feels low. The first effect that hormonal imbalance shows is on the mood on the energy level, on our metabolism. Hence, it is extremely important to address hormonal imbalances. We can address it better on our own, being our own param gurus rather than run to endocrinologists or take medications for feeling low when we are not able to handle depression or low feeling, or anxiety, or panic attacks. There are times when we don't even realize that our body's balance is disrupted. I repeat, there are times when we don't even realize that our body's balance is disrupted. If we did, we would be doing our breath work and, it's, and the cures of hormone imbalance every single day with full commitment.
discontinue the 11 kapal bhatis followed by one viloma pranayam slowly come back to the center open your eyes go to the chat box and write yes if you were doing 11 kapal bhatis followed by one viloma pranayam when i was talking about hormonal imbalance we often feel listless and disoriented if two or three things happen together at the same time in our lives. So talking about the benefits of doing of certain mudras, of certain breath works, while I motivate you, at that time it may be difficult to keep a count. Make sure you're focusing on the original intended outcome from breath work. Now come into Palli Mudra, where we crisscross the index and the middle finger and bring the tip of the ring finger to the thumb pad. The little finger stays open, Palli Mudra. In Palli Mudra, we now do inhaling fully in Ujjayi, exhaling in a humming sound. Repeat this, inhale fully in Ujjayi, do a humming sound exhaling, feel the vibrations on the frontal part of the face. <sighs> Together we did two rounds, from the third round onwards, Continue this. At the end, when I say stop, you have to go to the chat box after opening the Pali Mudra and write how many times y'all did the set. Okay? Continue. Inhales in Ujjayi. Exhales in Brahmari. Pali Mudra. Hmm. Hmm. Discontinue the practice. Slowly open your eyes. Slowly open your mudra. Go to the chat box and write how many sets you did. We now come into Uttar Bodhi Mudra where we interlace the fingers 
and point the index finger up and the thumb down. We bring the Uttar Bodhi Mudra at the sternum. Interlace the fingers, point the index finger up and the thumbs down. So the index finger, fingers pads and thumb pads touch each other. Another very dynamic mudra for hormonal health. We're now going to do a few variations in breath work. It will be guided. Inhale fully. Exhale in Ujjayi. Inhale in Ujjayi. Exhale normal. Nasal. Tongue in Ketri Mudra. Tip of the tongue goes all the way into the throat. Inhale. Exhale. Two more rounds. In Kejari Mudra, automatically there will be more of an Ujjayi breath. Stay in Uttar Bodhi Mudra. Panda inhalations, Om chant exhalations. Okay. Seven Kapal Bhatis now. Three Bhastrikas. Three Ujjais in Kechari Mudra. One Agni Sar, inhale fully. Exhaling, bring the abdomen in, come into Mahaband. Abdomen out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Hold the exhalation, you're in Mahaband. Discontinue to do one Sheetali Pranayam. Fold the tongue like a Frankie. Inhale. Tongue in. Exhale in Ujjayi. Repeat this set. One Agni Sar. Inhale fully. Exhaling, come into Mahaband. Perineum lock, abdominal lock, chin lock. Start Agni Sar.
The moment you want to inhale, discontinue the practice. Third, the last round, inhale fully. Hold the inhalation. Exhaling, come into Mahapand. Agni Sar. Discontinue. Do Sheetali twice for the previous round and this. Discontinue all pranayams. Continue staying in Uttar Bodhi Mudra. Now slowly open the mudra. Slowly open your eyes. <laughs>